Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the Smoking DJ. Um, today's meal, we're gonna make some ribeye steaks, and we're gonna be cooking those in home on a skillet grill. So here's my big skillet, and um, here are the ribeyes. So these ribeyes have been out for about 20 minutes now um, out of the fridge. So I'm gonna bring this down here. I'm gonna show you guys how to prep it. Simple. It's gonna be salt, pepper, and then we'll just get them going on the um, on the on the cast iron here so what I'm gonna do while I'm doing the uh, the prepping on here I'm gonna turn the, the the stove on there we go and I'm just gonna do two of them so I'm gonna pull this one out and then I'll pull this other one out we'll save the third one for later so good marbling on them right um, we're gonna go through and salt pepper and then get on here so give me one second there we go here so <clears throat> what you want to do is get your salt Again, I prefer this one. It's a it's a fine crystal salt. You guys have seen me use it in other videos. It's cool. So, and salt on a steak is what is greatly needed. So, don't be shy to salt your steaks. And then we'll go with some ground pepper. There we go. Turn them over. And we'll do the other side. Same thing. Plenty of salt. Though it may seem like it's a lot of salt, these steaks have a lot of water, and the salt, what it does, is going to go ahead and soak up all that water out of the steak itself um, to give you a better. A better cook so put some pepper on here now and then what you want to do you want to turn them sideways that needs some seasoning too the side of the fat here we're gonna go on both sides don't forget this is all part of what you're gonna be eating right so I'll get the pepper and stuff from the bottom here but you want to make sure that you salt the fat And then a little pepper. I'm gonna turn these sideways this way, try to get it in between here. There we go. And just grab like so for the fat here. Okay. While that sits, let's move over to the uh yes iron here. So I'm gonna pump this baby up. Now you guys can go ahead and um, leave the leave the steak sitting for a good 20-30 minutes. Um, for the like I mentioned, the salt will go through and pull the the water out of the steak. Um, but this is just going to be a quick video for us to um, show you guys how to make them. So you got some uh, some heat coming up already. Throw enough of this uh, oil on here. Okay. And then, there we go, that's what you want. Okay, what you want to do, you want to get it on a hot skillet. And the reason why is because you want to sear the outside. Once you sear the outside of the steak, it'll um, hold the juices and the flavors and everything inside. So, um, very important, as you're laying the steaks down, lay them away from you. Right, if you're going to be standing here, lay them away from you. Don't bring them toward you so that the splatter doesn't come your way. So, I'm going to go with the first one. Then you're going to go ahead and lay it. And then lay it down. Okay, and the second one. There you go. There you go. All right, and that's going to be cooking for about five minutes, um, and then I'll flip it over on the other side another five minutes, and then we're also going to cook on the fat. Right, we're going to stand it up straight up for the the fat to render down. Fat is flavor with meat, so um, 
and then we're going to baste it over. I have some uh, rosemary that we're going to throw in there with some butter. We're going to melt the butter. We're going to put the rosemary in there. And then we'll just baste it. And that's nothing but flavor going back into the steak itself. So um, pause it for a little bit and then come back and show you guys how we're moving along. Uh, you know what? If you guys... No, it's still good. So I'll show you guys in a bit. All right, here we go. It's been about four minutes or so. I'm already seeing the brown come up on the side of the of the steak, so I'm gonna take the first one and again try to keep it away from you. That's what you want. You want that nice sear look, right? The so same thing on this one. There we go. Look at that. That's beautiful. Okay. Press it down. Make sure that all sides of the meat have the actual contact onto the uh, cast iron itself. And like I mentioned, you can see that this is still kind of pink. We're gonna cook it on the side once the, uh, we go about three, four minutes on the other side here. And what you wanna do, you wanna cook it evenly, right? You wanna cook it on one side and then the other side, uh, and then just do the sides, and then you're pretty much done. It's that simple. So, be back in a couple minutes here. All right, good. Now we are going to move these. See, there you go. We're gonna hold this and kind of just to the side. Just for a couple of seconds, moving it on down. What you want to do, you want to cook that. That fat there, render it down. Okay, I'll show you. What you want to do, you want to have that there. Okay, so I'll take this one out. So I'm gonna start on this one too. All right. Now we still have some oil in here. Okay. What I do so that I could get a, a fresh taste of butter is, you have your old pan here, right? You wanna take this off? And this is where the steaks came in. I'm just gonna throw it on there and then start with the butter. So I'll show you guys. All right. Not washing the cast iron or anything. Just, I already cut up some butter, throw it on there. Okay. And Gonna season the bottom first, and then we're gonna put, reinsert the steaks. Let's reduce them back in here. There we go. Here's the rosemary. Grab some of this rosemary. See this open. There you go. Throw some rosemary on there. Oh, the top one in there. Yeah, to the side here. Then just grab this on the side here and grab the butter and just start with the steak so that you have access. There we go. Start basting your steak here. And all you're doing is putting more flavor onto your, your steak. And then bring this down a little bit because we don't want to continue cooking. You want to get that butter in there. Let's get this melted over here. There we go. There you go. And it's not, you don't need to do it on both sides. You can just do it on one side because it'll get into the actual steak itself. Okay? All right. And see, once you see that the butter is turning a little bit darkish this color, take them out. So that means that the butter is uh, cooking. It's not going to give it any, any flavor that's good. So, there we go. Put them out. Look at that. The steak's already falling apart. Let's pull that out. Oh, look at that one. Fun the part as well. So, we have our steaks right here. Let me, uh, there you go. So, we're going to let the steaks rest for about 10, 15 minutes. 
Uh, the purpose of that is for the uh, juices to go ahead and be spread all across the steak. Uh, once we get back, we'll we'll slice them up, get them ready. We already have uh, some potatoes going, and then we're gonna pair this steak with the with this wine here. My boy Snoop, 19, 19 Crimes Cali Red. So we're gonna go ahead and have us some uh, ribeye steaks with some Cali Red and some potatoes. So. We'll be back in about 10, 15 minutes, just letting the steaks rest, cool down, and then also restrib uh, redistribute all those juices. All right, so it's about, been about 10 minutes of the uh, steaks resting. Um, you can see a little bit of the, of the juices um, cooling there. Um, I'll show you guys how to go through and, and cut them, and then get, get them ready to serve. So we'll start with this one here. What I like to do, I like to just, these extra pieces, just take them off. All right, so... I mean, we're still going to eat it, but just take it off because it makes it easier to cut. So, if you guys remember, we went through and we were, there's the, the fat. Um, we cooked up the sides of the fat here. And look at that. I mean, it becomes part of the meat, which makes it taste even better. Okay, so we're going to go and we're going to start to cut. Oh, man, I could already see the color. Fantastic. This is the extra little fat here. So, and I'll show you guys a minute. I mean... Look at that color on there. That's beautiful. Like a medium, right? So some people like them a little bit less. I know one of my coworkers, Michael Johnson, he just, he likes to flash the, the meat on top of the, the fire. He just likes to warm up the, the raw meat. Um, but medium is recommended always. Um, it, it, it saves the flavor. It gives it the best profile they can have. I mean, even the end piece here, I'll show you guys here. I mean, it's it's not too shabby. So, um, you know, I'll get this little piece here. I'll show you guys here. So, let me move this up this way a little bit. There you go. Technical difficulties. So, it didn't take that long to cook. Like I mentioned, it's about five, six minutes on each side. And then you're... Uh, you're good to go. Salt, pepper. Some people like to add a little bit more salt, depending on how much is sat in there. Um, ideally, like I mentioned, you want to leave it for about 20, 25 minutes sitting so that the, the salt is able to bring out all the juices within the steak. But pretty simple. I mean, <laughs> the flavor of the butter, right? When you're basting it, just basting, basting with that rosemary. I mean, the scent is fantastic. The, the flavor of the butter is all around the steak. That's a good steak. Man. And it didn't take that long. Yeah, I mean, it would have tasted a lot more of the salt and more of the pepper, but I would have let it sit a little bit longer. But like I mentioned, I mean, you guys saw, I went through and I just uh, seasoned it, pretty much put it on a hot um, cast iron, and then this is the end result here. That is delicious and soft, so. I'm gonna continue cutting the other one, and then I'll show you guys a picture of the end result with the potatoes. Um, we're gonna have a little salad with it, and then also the uh, the wine. Okay, thank you.